He was gunned down in his own driveway right before Christmas. Eight years later, the case is cold. Police believe it was a targeted attack, but who fired the weapon is still a mystery. Here's this week's case files. It was just days before Christmas, December 20th, 2014. Isaac King Jr. attended a family party on Toledo's east side. He stayed there approximately two hours. Uh, on his way back home, he picked up his stepdaughter, who was also uh, in East Toledo. He dropped her off and then uh, continued on home. Police say King arrived at his house on Danbury Street in South Toledo just before 6 o'clock. When he got out of his car, someone opened fire. Witnesses reported hearing shots. Um, everybody looks out. Uh, he didn't see anything really unusual. Police say the 56-year-old was shot multiple times in the back. King was rushed to UTMC, where he died. Detectives say King's family members were pegged as suspects early on, but they were never charged. It's something his son, Andre, grapples with daily. I just want the detective to really do their job and work hard at it because it's an easy crime to um, solve. Detective William Goodlett, who oversees the Toledo Police Cold Case Unit, says surveillance video pieces together part of the story. Uh, they obtained a lot of video footage uh, from all over around East Toledo and uh, also near his residence uh, just to try to see if, you know, there was anybody maybe following him or anything unusual had happened. Uh, nothing like that was found. There's still no suspect. Police say this was intentional and the suspect was prepared to kill. Andre believes it was a setup. It's, a, it's an insider, though. I know that. It's an inside job. The big question is, did anything happen from the moment he left the party and came home? His son says someone knows exactly what happened. It, it don't make sense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, for nobody even seeing nothing, you know what I'm saying? After years of waiting, Andre's hopeful that police will take a closer look at the people who were in the area or at his father's home moments after the attack. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I just want justice for my dad. Yeah. The right way, though. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. For this week's Case Files, Christina Williams, 13 Action News. And if you have any information about this case, you can contact Crime Stopper. You can call or text 419-255-1111. You could be eligible for a cash reward. And if you have an unsolved case that needs attention, email me, casefiles at 13abc.com.